impressions of uh, Coach O'Brien? Um, initial impressions, he uh, seems like a great coach. Uh, very impressed by him. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, well, I'll get to know him more as the weeks come. Can you tell us how the meeting went and sort of? Oh, it went well. It went very well. Uh, went better than I expected. Uh, a very a great talker. A, very, uh, a lot of charisma. And uh, as the weeks come, I'm just anxious to get to know him personally. Herschel said you guys were allowed to ask questions. Was there some good bit of give and take, or was it mostly him talking? Uh, there wasn't uh, a lot of give and take. Uh, the, the questions were at the end. Uh, it, he spoke in the beginning and spoke throughout most of the time. Uh, but most of the questions were probably answered during when he was talking, so that's maybe that's why there wasn't a lot of questions and stuff. What can you say about his personality? Yeah. Personality? Uh, straightforward personality. Uh, great fit for a Penn State, Penn State man. And that's uh, honest, respectable, uh, a lot of charisma. Was there any question you wanted answered that he did answer during his talk? Was I didn't have any did? specific question mm -hmm. that I wanted answered. Uh, I just wanted to listen and hear everything, uh, take in what the new coach has to say. And I think by him talking and, and showing uh, his personality and who he is, uh, showed that very well. You guys were kind of hanging there for a couple months wondering who your next coach is going to be. What is it like to finally have some closure? Right, it definitely, it definitely is closure, definitely is uh, st stability. and. Knowing that who your coach is going to be, that's definitely a, a better feeling you have when you go to sleep at night, knowing what your future is going to be, to, to the most part. you know, I still have to know Coach O'Brien personally and everything, and he'll know me personally. But it is a better feeling. It is. Do you have a sense for the stability of the team? I know some guys were wondering if they might transfer or that sort of thing. Overall, do you have a general feeling that most guys are going to stay, that sort of thing? Um, no one was talking to me about that. I know I'm staying, of course. Yeah. I'm, I'm a Penn State man myself. so. Uh, no one has talked to me about that. I hope everyone stays, but uh, people, you know, are going to do what they have to do. But I'm staying, and I hope everyone else stays. <laughs> to have a coach come from the NFL where he's had a lot of success, how much, how much of a benefit do you think that is, not only for the current players that maybe recruits would uh, be enticed by? Oh, with, for him? yeah, exactly. With uh, any coach from the NFL is is definitely a privilege to even play for, uh, to even be coached by. So I think it's going to be fantastic for our offense, fantastic for our team in general to have a coach from the NFL. Yeah, was there any discussion ahead. about uh, coaches like Jay Paterno or Tom Bradley? No, there was no discussions about that. Uh, I, I don't I don't know what's going to be the next in the future. So he didn't say anything about that. I know that uh, Coach Johnson doesn't necessarily coach your position, but the fact that he's coming back, how, is it, how important is it to have kind of a transitional figure there within the staff. Right, he doesn't coach my position, but I'm also on the punt team, which he, he used to coach. I don't know if he's still going to. And, of course, I go against their defensive line every day in practice and everything. So, yeah, it's uh, it's good to see two coaches that are already back on staff, that already been here and know that help the transition from new coach, from a head new coach uh, with current already assistant coaches. So, of course, that transition is going to be better. How much did you know about Coach O'Brien before his name came up the last several days? Uh, I didn't know too much. Uh, <laughs> I did, I kind of didn't. I kind of stood out of the uh, the coaching uh, recruitment. I guess the word is. I I, I kind of you know didn't didn't get too involved in it because it was out of my hands. I had nothing to do with it. You know, so I just I was focused on Houston at the time. I was focused on playing football and focused on lifting weights and getting better for the next season. Well, I was just talking about his so, exp you know his, yeah. his coaching abilities. Uh, I didn't I didn't know much about him. Okay. No. Do you watch the Patriots much? Are there many guys on the on the team who, who follow the Patriots closely? Uh, yeah, I assume there's guys on the team that uh, Patriots are number number one team. But yeah, I, I like the Patriots. Yes. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you, man.